President Trump, who made this all a reality, could not be here today, but did record a message to honor us at this ceremony. Please watch and listen. Exactly 70 years ago, the United States, under President Harry Truman, became the first nation to recognize the State of Israel. Today, we officially open the United States Embassy in Jerusalem. Congratulations. It's been a long time coming. Almost immediately after declaring statehood in 1948, Israel designated the city of Jerusalem as its capital, the capital the Jewish people established in ancient times. So important. Today, Jerusalem is the seat of Israel's government. It is the home of the Israeli legislature and the Israeli Supreme Court and Israel's prime minister and president. Israel is a sovereign nation with the right, like every other sovereign nation, to determine its own capital. Yet, for many years, we failed to acknowledge the obvious, the plain reality that Israel's capital is Jerusalem. On December 6, 2017, at my direction, the United States finally and officially recognized Jerusalem as the true capital of Israel. Today, we follow through on this recognition and open our embassy in the historic and sacred land of Jerusalem. And we're opening it many, many years ahead of schedule. As I said in December, our greatest hope is for peace. The United States remains fully committed to facilitating a lasting peace agreement, and we continue to support the status quo at Jerusalem's holy sites, including at the Temple Mount, also known as Haram al-Sharif. This city and its entire nation is a testament to the unbreakable spirit of the Jewish people. The United States will always be a great friend of Israel and a partner in the cause of freedom and peace. We wish Ambassador Friedman good luck as he takes up his office in this beautiful Jerusalem Embassy, and we extend a hand in friendship to Israel, the Palestinians, and to all of their neighbors. May there be peace. May God bless this embassy. May God bless all who serve there. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. States of America. Thank you. Now my great honor to call upon the Treasury Secretary, Secretary Stephen Mnuchin is now going to unveil the dedication plaque. Ivanka Trump to respectively unveil the seal of the United States Embassy and to read the dedication. And as the plaque is unveiled now at the U.S. Embassy, we can talk to the BBC's Yolande Nell, who is in Ramallah. And this is a moment of ceremony inside. Uh, the death toll, meanwhile, is ticking up. Uh, I think the latest that I have seen is 41 people killed uh, by Israeli fire. We're just going to listen, in fact, to what to the, the president's daughter has to say. the United States here in Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. Thank you. Yuland, uh, would you, you uh, get us up to date on what has been happening uh, outside as we've been watching uh, the events in the new U.S. Embassy? Uh, 